Welcome to the channel everybody. For today's tutorial video we are going to be covering skinning, tanning, curing, and turning fur into leather. So these are all a part of the hide working skill which you can see if we go to our skills page using the S button is right here. Our current character is a novice at 32% at the moment so we can't expect the quality to be too great here but that's beside the point we don't need to worry about quality for this particular demonstration but today we are going to be working with a small elk calf that I've just recently killed and we're first step in any of the processes you want to do whether it's preserve it or turn it into leather is to skin the animal most importantly do not butcher it if you butcher the animal before you skin it then the skin will be destroyed and you will not have the opportunity to get that skin back so skinning is the first stage we will do that and we do that I'm sorry I went through that a little too quickly so let's back up I'm gonna hit s for skills then hide working is the H button that's the hot key for it you can see they're all labeled next to them so you can either do it manually with the mouse, but for the purposes of this, I will be using the uh, keyboard mostly, and I recommend that's how you kind of get used to the game as well, because it is mainly controlled with keyboard commands. But here we go, we'll do hide working, H. Now, the next command you can see under the hide working option is going to be the first one, skin the animal. And if right away you're thinking to yourself, oh, I bet this just follows the order here of the different um, operations, it doesn't, unfortunately. Once you get to the cleaning part, after that you've got the choice between these three. But I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. Let's go ahead and skin it using the S button. There we go. So now it's saying skin the animal. It's asking for a confirmation. And it shows that all you need is a knife, which I do have. So it's automatically checked that off the list there for me. There we go. So real quick, didn't take too long in real time. In game time, it took an hour, but we're still doing okay. We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. We're a little bit fatigued from that, but um, I'm not too worried about it. In terms of butchering the animal, since this is a relatively small kill, we should be able to take care of this real quick. So you can see too, visually, the animal now is all red. The skin has been removed. So all you can see now is the muscle beneath there. So we're safe to butcher this. And you can confirm that if you want by going into your inventory and just seeing, yes, here it is. So I've got an elk skin right next to my ragged squirrel skin, which we're going to use a little bit later to demonstrate the curing process. But um, the elk skin is good to go. So let's go ahead and butcher the animal. It is essential to butcher it after skinning so that you can acquire the fat. So I'm going to grab the bones that were left over. And if we look at our inventory, now real quick after butchering it, you can see that I've got 90 cuts. So that's 90 pieces of elk, raw elk meat that we just got. And very importantly for today's demonstration, the elk fat. So this is what we're going to use in the tanning process is the elk fat itself. So you don't want to eat this. You could cook it up and eat it. And it's very nutritious if your character is recovering from starvation. Eating fat will help with that, definitely. It's very nutritious, but for today, you want to keep it in most cases if you plan on utilizing the skin. There are some times when maybe the skin is damaged too badly and all you can do is butcher the animal. So you'll be left with some fat in that case, which you can go ahead and consume or feed your animals or whatever. Save it too. You could even dry it and save it for another kill that you might want to use to tan the skin later. But anyway, so now that we have the fat, we can go back out to the world here. The next step is going to require water. So we have to be near a water source or have enough water on us in a canteen or a bag or something to do this. But for today, we're standing next to water, so it should be good. I'm going to go back to the skills page, hitting S, H for hide working. Now the next operation is cleaning the skin. And again, for anything we want to do, whether it's curing, tanning, or dehairing, cleaning it is going to be necessary. So we'll select that. It's since I have two skins or well, anytime it's going to ask you which skin you want to clean. I'm going to do, of course, this one. There we go. That took about 47 minutes and it definitely was fairly fairly active, a fairly strenuous activity, I should say. Now we're at 51. 
So just so that we hopefully get the best quality fur, I'm gonna go ahead and rest a little bit. All right, there we go. We're back down to negative 15, which is currently our baseline because the amount of weight we're carrying. So we can go ahead and go back to skills. H for hide working. Now we have a choice. There is either the option to cure it for preservation, tan it, which is going to take us into another couple of stages, and then ultimately we'll have a nice fur once we're done with this, which we can use to sleep on like a blanket, or we can turn into clothing, or we can trade it away. But um, the last stage is the de-hairing for rawhide or leather. So we'll talk about this last stage for a second. Some skins in the game, such as a pig skin and I believe snake skin, will automatically turn into leather, which then you can craft up into tool, certain tools you need leather for, like the ski stick, I believe. And also you might want a full suit of leather clothing. But it, you can, don't always come across herds of pigs. So if you want to turn like a full elk skin for into elk leather, you can do that using the de-hairing process, which I'll warn you right now, does take quite a bit of time. It's a much longer process than the tanning process. But for today, we're going to do the standard operation, which is tanning. It. That's what you're probably going to do with most of the skins you get so we will go ahead and hit t for tan now that it's clean we can proceed to this one all right it's going to again ask me which one i want we're going to go for the clean elk skin very good now this is where it's asking for tanning material which would be the fat you can if you don't have any fat use bark but only certain kinds kinds of bark are applicable here and you have to go out and collect it first beforehand, obviously, which I don't currently have any on me. So we are forced to use the fat at this point. Luckily, the amount of fat you get from butchering the animal is always exactly as much as you need to tan it. You see, it does call for 0.3 pounds, and that's exactly what we got from the, the elk calf. So let's use that. Very good. Okay, so now if we look at where my character was standing, there's a little skin right there. That's the elk skin. And if we go to pick it up using the comma command on our keyboard, you'll notice down here it says the tanning elk skin will be ready by early evening. Currently it is late afternoon. You may not pick it up yet. So certain items go through a process in the game and you just have to wait until the time has elapsed. So let's just give it a couple of hours. All right, guys. Well, it is late night. My character slept for a little bit. We have woken up and I'm certain that the elk skin is going to be ready now. You can see that it's at our feet here. And one important thing to note is that skins like this, when they're in the process of being either tanned, cured, or turned into leather, can go bad and rot and ultimately become useless if you forget about them or if you leave them too long laying out in between stages essentially so if i were to take leave right now and not take this or finish it off and come back in like a week it would be bad it would say rotting on it and honestly in the summer like where we're at it wouldn't take a week it would probably only take like a day and a half or two days so keep a very close eye on this and when you're doing something like this with your skins stay in the camp unless you absolutely have to leave for some reason okay but now you can see it has allowed me to pick up the harsh tanning skin so unfortunately it's lost a little bit of its quality but again, that's more due to the fact that our character isn't that great at hide working. So that's to be expected early on. But the more you use your skills in this game, the better they become. So eventually we'll be making superior furs and skins. But now we've got another stage. When we go to our skills page and then select hide working again, it doesn't show like a third stage for the tanning process, but there is one. So essentially you go back to tan the skin and you can see it says tanning. So it's the skin is in process, you know. Now what we need to do is select it again. There we go. It's going to rinse and dry the skin. So to do this, you need 1.4 pounds of water, which is automatically filled in because we're next to water. And that took, that was a very short amount of time. It was like 20 minutes in game, but now we've got another 
a few hours. It says we will not be ready until after midnight. So we have to wait a little while longer. And one additional note here before we move on to the next stage is that the time it takes between these stages is affected by the size of the fur. So this is a small, just like a couple pounds of elk fur. So it doesn't take very long, but if it was a full grown elk or a bear, it would be like a day or a half a day between stages, depending on what you're doing. But just a side note to keep in mind. Okay, so the elk skin has now reached the final stage of preparation before it's completely done and ready for trading or crafting. And as you can see, it's small hours right now. So if I go to pick up the skin, it allows me to take that. Let's look at it here in our inventory. It says now it is rinsed. So of course, it's still got the harsh modifier. One thing to note too is that you can always lose quality but you can never regain quality so once it's become harsh this is always going to be harsh but that's okay just consider it practice and let's move on here so it's got one stage left but this can't be done here by the water side to finish off the skin a rinsed skin needs to be beaten out so you need two things you need a beater which can be a club or a large stone and you need a surface to beat it out on which can be a table or a log that you just cut down a tree or maybe find a fallen log in nature but we're going to head to a nearby village and i'll show you in just a second how we rinse out and complete the fur. Okay guys, we're here at the village and we're inside a nice little cabin here. There's a bunch of people around us, but there's a table right here in front of me. So this is perfect. And on the way in, I picked up a large stone. It's a 14 pounder. So that should be sufficient to beat out the skin. So again, we go to the skills page, H for hide working, and then we hit T for tanning again. So essentially you're gonna use the tanning command three different times after you've cleaned the skin. But let's do this for the final stage of rinsing. Uh, for beating actually and it does tell you too when you hit space here um, we've got what you're using so the stone in your inventory will be used you've got to have a surface and there we go this is the longest and most strenuous process of the hide working you can see that took us all the way to negative 87 percent again if we reach 100 then we have to rest but we're done with this fur it is now fully completed fur 2.7 pounds it's nothing glorious but it is completed so that's a job well done for today and if you want you can leave the stone here it doesn't have to be in your inventory when you're beating out a skin like that just leave it on the ground and your character will pick it up only when he needs it in that current you know in that actual process but one last thing for the video is i did want to show off the curing process which is essentially what we just saw but instead of going through and hitting tan you would cure the skin for preservation it takes a few days again according to the size of the skin but once you've got it cured it'll say you have a cured skin just like my squirrel skin is here so once you've done this you can revive it later down the road right now the skin will last indefinitely it's never going to rot but it's not really good for trading or crafting it's still un it's unfinished but i can revive it using water and either fat if you happen to still have the fat somehow which is unlikely because the fat is going to rot too eventually but here you can see i've picked up some rowan bark so this is the bark i was talking about earlier this is what will allow you to revive a cured skin if you don't have any fat also it can be used on a fresh skin too like i said if you want to use the fat for recovering from starvation or whatever but it's essentially the same thing then i would would go to a water side I would go to a water source and we would go through the tanning process but with that cured skin just like we did with the fresh skin and it's pretty simple from there just follow the stages of tanning and eventually you're gonna have to beat it out and you'll be ready to go but there we go guys that's gonna do it for today's tutorial vid video on the hide working process here in the unreal world I hope you've enjoyed this and maybe learned a thing or two from it let me know what you think down in the comments 
comment section any other videos or tutorials you'd like to see. Also, I do have a full series on these upcoming and some videos are out already. So again, check the description for all the playlist links I've got down there. But while you're there, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you all on the next one.